Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Welcome to the Youth Drug Abuse Awareness Project. I'm Warren Davis, and I'm the director of GRIP TV. Glad to have you here today. Thanks for coming. We, I'm glad to be on here. Good, 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 good. Uh, so this uh, is called The Color of My Future. Right, and we're gonna go through the coloring book first, but I have a couple of things I need you guys to do for me, all right? I need you to take one of these pencils, you take one, pass them down. This is a certificate for each one of you that says that you went through the program. Take one of those and pass it down. Thank you. I need you to write your your name in the line right here with the pencil. Where your pencil? Everybody got your pencil? You got a pencil, Nas? There you go. Yep. Put your first name and your last name. I want it to be in your handwriting. First name and your last name. That's your certificate. That's because that you passed through the class. Take one of these sheets right here and pass it. One, Five, one. two, three, four. This is your drawing sheet. You're going to draw a new coloring book page at the end of the class that we are going to use. I need you to flip that over to the back, write your name down at the bottom on the back of that page. Take your time, take your time so it's not scribbled. Take your time. Can y'all see okay? Okay. Y'all got enough light? Yes. Okay. Your hair is in your face. Can't see your face. Oh, nice. Y'all so happy this morning. Y'all all right? Everybody good. All right, cool. All right, so these are crayons, boxes of crayons. They go with your coloring book, but we're not going to color today. You're going to take these crayons home with you along with the book and you can color in the book later. So we'll just hold these until after the class is done, okay? All right, so everybody got their paper? Yes. Okay, so take those two papers, flip, flip, flip that paper back over and give me the certificates so I can sign them off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll be back to tell you my story of how I overcame a drug addiction and my alcoholism. So while I'm gone, Miss Tima is going to come in and go through the book with you guys. All right? So when she comes in, you guys welcome her in. I'll be back. You're going to open the book. You're going to read through the book. But wait till she tell you to. Hello everyone. Hello Miss Tina. How are you guys doing today? Good. I'll open the page. Oh, does somebody want to read the title for me first? Um, Go ahead. A drug coloring book for kids. Awesome. So now we know what the book is going to tell us about, right? Yes. Okay, let's open the book to the first reading page. Okay, so I'm going to read this book. It says, To Children Whose Discovery Builds Tomorrow. Okay? Are we all on page one? Yes. Awesome. Let's start off. Okay, the book, it starts by saying, Hello, my name is Spinner, and this is my little brother, Duster. Can anybody guess who Spinner is? Tell me who Spinner is. Spinner is the one pointing at the littlest one right here. And the littlest one who is? Duster. Awesome. Next page. Are we all there? Yeah. And this one read, this book is about drugs. And it was written for you. Let's go to the next page. Drugs are... Pills, tablets, capsules, liquids, powders, leaves. These drugs, 
these are drugs. And then they have other drugs here that are cough syrup, medicine, coffee, tobacco, tobacco and alcohol. And then we're gonna read the next page. Sometimes drugs are helpers. When you are sick, when you are hurt. So we know about those drugs, right? Those yeah. are good drugs. Those are good drugs, thank you. All right. When you are sick or hurt and your doctor gives you medicine to help you get better, drugs are good, right? Yes. But all drugs can be dangerous if, you, if not used properly, even medicine. Do we know that? Yes. Awesome. Your doctors, your doctor's drugs can help you. These are many kinds of drugs. Aspirin, cough syrup, heroin, marijuana. Do we know the difference? Yes. Okay. Who can tell me the bad drugs? Um, marijuana and heroin. Awesome. Who can tell me the good drugs? Uh-huh. Aspirin and cough syrup. Awesome. Good. Next page. Some people use drugs without a doctor's help. Okay, they may smoke marijuana, they may swallow pills, they may inject drugs, they may snuff up, they may snuff up, snuff them up their nose. Why do people do this? You go first. To get high. To get high. Some people say it's their therapy. Some people say it's their therapy. So they can feel better. So they can feel better. And it probably, it makes them feel happy, they think. It makes them feel happy, so they think. So That's a good one. They say for fun, to feel good, to relax, to be happy. To get high. They see, hear, and feel strange things. Colors look different, blue, yellow, red, green. Uh, time passes strangely. Truthfully, many people use drugs to forget bad feelings, sad things, and unhappy times. The problem is drugs can't make these things better and they will make them worse. Are we on the next page? Mm -hmm. Awesome. When bad things happen to you, a wreck, sicknesses, a fall, a fight, a broken leg, be calm. It will be okay. I can do it. You are strong. Remember, Bad things and bad times can happen to everyone. Drugs can't stop this. Drugs, drugs can't stop this by avoiding bad things like drugs. Many kids use drugs because of problems at home like mom and dad arguing, being mean, yelling, hitting, or fighting. When things are bad at home, some kids use drugs to try to forget their unhappiness. Now the next page on the other side reads, circle the bad things you think makes people use drugs. Can you name a few for me? Mm-hmm. Um, mom and dad fighting. Mom and dad fighting. Hitting. Hitting. Mm -hmm. Yelling. Yelling. It's okay. You can go. Being mixed up with who I am. Being mixed up with who you are. And being mean. And being mean. Okay. Let's go to the next page. And here they are. Mom and dad yelling at, the, at kids. Wanting to be like their friends. Worrying. Being lonely. Remember, when bad things happen and you are sad, drugs are not the answer, right? Yes. Right. When things are bad and you are sad, 
happiness is found in your heart. We all know that, right? Yes. Good. Some kids are confused about drugs because their parents may drink too much alcohol or use other drugs. How can this be right? Drugs are bad for everyone? Are drugs bad for everyone? No. Not all drugs, right? Yes. Good. Some kids are confused about drugs because older brothers or sisters or friends use them. Sometimes these people will ask you to use drugs. The people who ask you to use drugs may say, drugs are good for you. Drugs make you feel better. Drugs help you do things better. Drugs are fun. Well, what do you think? What do we think about that? It's, it's, bad. it's bad, right? You should not be influenced by your friends. Also. No, no, no. That's what we just said, right? Yes. Okay. And this next page reads, meet your body. Everybody knows your body, right? Yes. Shake up a little bit. Shake your body up a little bit. Awesome. Your body likes to relax, have energy, play, work, enjoy naturally. Drugs can hurt your body many ways. They can make it sick. When your body is sick, it cannot relax, play, have energy, work, or enjoy. When it is sick, your body suffers. Now meet your brain. Your brain fits nicely in your head. We all have a brain, right? Yes. Awesome. Did you put your brain in your head? No. Who put your brain in your head? You were made that way, right? Yes. Good. Your brain likes to relax, imagine, understand, create, remember things naturally. Drugs can hurt your brain many ways. They can make it sick. When your brain is sick, it cannot relax, imagine, understand, create, remember, or think. When it is sick, you suffer. Have we experienced that? Like when you have a cold? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, <laughs> good. Your body, your heart, and your brain all works together to make someone very special and beautiful, as you guys all are. Um, when you do right things and good things, you become even better. You become the best you there can be. Do you guys feel like you're the best you right now? Yes. Awesome. Whether a, re whether a person is tall or short, young or old, we are all growing. We grow inside as well as outside. We grow in our hearts and our minds. Good things and bad things in life both help us grow and learn. When people use drugs, they stop growing inside. Do you guys believe that? Yes. That's good. Keep growing. So how do you keep growing? Mm -hmm. By not using drugs. Good. Staying away from them and telling your friends no. Good. By eating vegetables. By eating vegetables. That's even better. By being yourself. By being yourself. Awesome. And the next page reads, Be calm, be strong, grow and learn through good and bad, and you will be happy, not sad. For within you, there is a light that shines through the dark, darkest nights. So shine your light everywhere and stand up for the good, the fair, the right. Goodbye. Thank you for standing, spending this time. Thank you for spending this time with us. We'll miss you. And that's the end of the story. Did you guys enjoy it? Yes. Awesome. Give yourself a round of applause. Now I'm going to bring Mr. Warren back and he's going to tell you guys a little bit about his story and what he went through, okay? You guys like that? Yeah. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. All right, let's give his team a round of applause for going through the book with you. All right, cool. 
So now you have some idea. Good, good drugs, bad drugs, stuff like that. So let me ask you a question. Who can tell me what a drug addict looks like? Mike? Um, Talk he, loud so we can hear you. Well, he, well, she or he barely have clothes on because they might have to sell their clothes just to get some money and to afford stuff. And their hair wouldn't be done and they wouldn't have shoes on probably. And they were probably in the street or under a bridge. Okay, very good. They would look Ziggy. real sick and beat up because the Don't drugs. They would look real sick and beat up because the drugs will hurt you and make you look bad. Okay. Um. You might your, your eyes Javier. might be red, uh -huh. and um, you might look tired, and you might have bags under your eyes. <laughs> bags under the eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you think, Nas? What you think a, a drug addict or alcoholic look like? Somebody got something you want to add? Go ahead, they probably will like have to make their own clothes, like with the bags and stuff on the street. Okay, so they'd be homeless. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hair looking all crazy. Yes. Sleeping outside. Yes. No clothes to wear. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was me. I know you're looking at me all surprised, but that was me. And I'm going to tell you my story. I know I don't look like that now, but that's because I stopped using the drugs. And so, let me tell you my story real quick. I started smoking cigarettes when I was 14 years old. That's where it all started for me. Uh, Newport cigarettes. I started smoking cigarettes. I guess I was in maybe ninth grade. And uh, from there, I went to smoking marijuana. So after um, the marijuana, uh, I started working at a drugstore. Like, well, today they have CVS and they have Rite Aid, but when I was 14 years old and 15 years old, there were little corner stores where you can go and get your prescriptions filled from your doctor. Well, I worked at one. And when I was working at one, when the supplies came in and I was supposed to be checking them in, I was actually stealing the drugs. And I was taking them and giving them to my buddies and we were all doing pills. I started to sniff cocaine in my nose. Um, that started to give me a nice high, so I did that. At the same time, um, I guess around 16, I started to drink alcohol. So, I didn't drink alcohol like some people can go to the bar. Some people can have a drink and they can just stop. Well, when I have a drink, which is why I don't drink today, when I had a drink, I couldn't, I wouldn't leave the bar until it was time for the bar to close. And they would have to end up putting me out of the bar because I wanted to drink up everything that was in the bar. Because once I started drinking, and drugging, I couldn't stop. But I didn't know that when I started, and when I first started, I didn't, I just started to have fun. I didn't know I was gonna be hooked on it. And so, uh, the alcohol came along, and then uh, the, the marijuana, the alcohol, cocaine, then someone showed me how to actually cook the cocaine and make it into crack. And so uh, once I started to smoke that, smoke crack, um, everything that I had, I The lost. reason that we have in this class, and I'm gonna be quiet and let you guys go ahead and draw your picture. The reason that we have in this class is because you never know if you're gonna be the one to become the addict until you try it. But when you try it, it's too late because now you're not gonna be able to stop if you are the one. 